Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the balanced shells crochet stitch. It's actually a really, really easy stitch to do. It is a two row repeat, super great for blankets and scarves. You will need to know how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. If you do not, I will have links down in the description below for video tutorials on how to do those. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do them. So let's get started. Okay, for our foundation row, we need any multiple of six plus two. So you're just gonna continue to chain six until you get to the width that you want, and then you're gonna add two. We're gonna start the second chain from the hook. Remember that loop on your hook never counts as a stitch. So we're gonna count down one and two, and we're gonna place a single crochet. Now we're going to skip two chains. And in the third chain, we're going to do a total of five double crochets. So here's number one. Here's number two. Here's three. Here's four. and five. Now we're going to skip two chains again. So one, two, and then the third one, we're going to do a single crochet. Now skip two chains, and then the third, five double crochets. So here's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Again, skip two chains, and then the third one, do a single crochet. Now you're just gonna continue to repeat these across the row until you have three stitches left at the end of your row. Work those and I will meet you back here. All right, so I am at the end of my row. I have three stitches left. If you do not, you need to go back and make sure that you haven't missed anything or added anything. So it's single crochet, skip two stitches, five double crochets in one stitch, skip two stitches, single crochet, so on and so forth until you have three chains left at the beginning of your foundation row. I do, so in that last chain at the end of my row, I'm going to work a single crochet, and then I'm going to chain five and turn, and this is gonna take us to row one. Okay, that chain of five is going to count as a double crochet and a chain two from here and throughout the rest of this pattern. And because it counts, we're never going to work into the base of that stitch. We're always going to work into the stitch or the following stitches after the stitch. So we're gonna count over three double crochets from the row below, and we're going to work a single crochet into that. So count one, two, and in the third one, work a single crochet. So you're right smack dab in the middle of those five double crochets. Now chain two and skip two stitches from the row below. So two double crochets from the row below and working in the top of that single crochet from the row below, do a double crochet. Again, chain two skip two stitches, so two double crochets from the row below, and in the third double crochet out of the five double crochets from the row below, do a single crochet, chain two, skip two stitches, and in the single crochet from the row below, do a double crochet. So singles and doubles, doubles and singles, easiest way to remember that. 
All right, so just continue to work these stitches until you get to the end of the row and you've worked your last single crochet, which I have because I have this itty bitty little sample here. So I worked my last single crochet. Now into the chain from the row below, I'm going to work a double crochet. I will chain one and turn, and this is gonna take us on to row two. So the chain one does not count as a stitch for this row. So we're going to work right in to the base of that stitch with a single crochet. So make sure that you're working in right in the top of that double crochet from the row below with a single crochet. And then immediately working in to that single crochet from the row below, we're going to do our five double crochets into that one stitch. Okay, I am just finishing up my fifth double crochet in that cluster. Now I'm going to work a single crochet into the top of that double crochet from the row below. This is exactly what we did on row one. Now we just have more rows to build on. So again, five double crochets into that single crochet from the row below, then single crochet into the top of the double crochet from the row below and that is it that's all there is to it from here on out you're just going to continue to repeat rows two and three until you get to the length that you want and you are good to go honestly that's about all there is to it super easy once you get the hang of this it goes really quick and if you can do a granny cluster you can totally do this and that is all there is for me today folks if you missed anything feel free to go back and rewatch. i will have a link down in the description below for written instructions for the ruby grace stitch library for this pattern thanks so much for stopping by love your face